Hello everyone watching and welcome. On today's video, we are going to be doing some Halloween French tips. So October is almost over today. Hopefully the video, I mean the time that you're seeing this video, it is the 31st of October. I hope so because I'm filming this on the 30th. It's going to take me a while to edit this video, I'm guessing. Um, but I have not done a lot of Halloween designs. I've been pretty busy and especially in the beginning of the month I have not posted much. Towards the end I've been trying to be more consistent but I did not get to do a lot of Halloween designs. So today I am going to be doing some French tips with a bunch of Halloween or like yeah just basically Halloween designs on them so I can get some of those like out of the way since I could not do them throughout the entire month. So I'm guessing this video is going to take a while for me to do since it is different design French tips. So let's just get straight into it. I already did all the prep off camera. We are going to be using these extra extra long full cover tips for this nail set. Um, this one I did kind of like a stiletto, but like I used to it used to be super sharp, but I like rounded it out a bit because we are going to be doing a design that needs to be a little bit rounded at the tip on this one. And then the rest of them are just some square tips. I did cut them down a bit um, because I, they were a little long, so I just cut them down to be just like just cut off the number. I have already buffed them and did everything I needed to do to them, so let's just jump straight into the design. Throughout this video, we are probably going to be using a lot of these uh, gel liners, the Beatles gel liners and the SXC Cosmetics gel liners. I have a code for the SXC Cosmetics gel liners. It's Nails by Love with a big N, big B, big L, no spaces um, for 15% off of your purchase on the SXC Cosmetics website. And that will also be linked down below. And for these, I do not believe I have a code for Beatles, but uh, yeah, I'll link both of the kits that I'm going to be using down below. So I hope this video doesn't take too long. Let's just jump right into it. So for the first nail, we are going to be doing candy corn, and that is on the pinky. So I'm going to pull out all the colors that we need. I know we're going to be needing yellow, and let me find a good orange shade. Again, we're going to be using a lot of these SXC, SXC Cosmetics gel liners. So uh, here are some good ones, and we can also probably pull out a white gel liner as well. Okay, so we're going to start with the bottom of the French tip. I hope that this is a good color for this. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with the bottom of the French tip. Now I'm going to go in and do the orange of the candy corn. Okay, so now I'm going to do the white part.
Okay, so this is how it is looking. I will be doing all my second coats off camera, but this is how it is looking. I think it looks super pretty. Okay, so for this next nail, we are going to be doing some spider webs. So I'm going to first start off with a purple base. For the purple base, I'm going to be using this Madame Glam color. Okay, so for the outside of this nail, I'm going to go around and just paint a layer of um, this uh, darker purple polish. Okay, so I decided instead of framing the entire nail, I would just frame this part of the nail. So now I'm going to do the spider web, and I think I'm going to do that in white. It might look good in black, but I think I'm gonna do it in white. Okay, scratch that. I'm actually just going to do it in black because I think that would look better with the whole Halloween and like dark look. Or would it? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Ooh. You guys, I don't know which one looks better. Should I do a black? Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I do a black spider web or a white spider web? I think I'm gonna go for black.
Okay, so this is how the spiderweb nail is looking. I decided to go ahead and add like some dots and sparkles around because I feel like the space was too empty, but it wasn't enough space to put another spiderweb. And I honestly really love how this nail turned out. So let's move on to the next nail. Okay, so for this nail, I'm going to be doing some ghosts. So I decided to do um, this color for the background. I haven't used this color in a while, but I am deciding to use this color. Actually, I only think I used it once, so. Yeah, we're gonna be using this color today for the background color. Okay, so now that this is cured, I'm going to do the ghost. And to do that, I'm just going to put some white on my dotting tool, make a little little dot, and try to just slowly like have it feather out a bit at the end and make it look like a ghost. So for this next one, I'm going to do some blood drips. Um, so um, for that, I'm going to start off with a white base.
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some red polish. I think I'm going to use this darker red color. Okay, it's kind of bright, but like compared to the one I was going to use, which is this one, it is slightly darker. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now I just thought of a new idea for this nail. I think I'm going to put like a little bloody fingerprint on there and hope that this works out. I'm not sure I'm gonna do this though. So I think I'm just gonna like dip this in here and like, I don't want it to be super saturated though. So well, let's figure something out. So for the thumb, we are going to be doing a pumpkin. I just want to start off and do a light green base. Okay, so I changed the base color of this nail because that green was not what I was expecting. It was extremely like neon and not what I was going for. So now let's start on the pumpkin. I'm going to use some orange to put a pumpkin on the little like end of the nail. Thank you. 
Okay, so I absolutely love how the vine came out. Now I'm going to add the finishing touches, which is going to be a little jack-o'-lantern face. And then after that, we are finally going to be done with this nail set. Okay, now we need to top coat all of our designs and we will be done. Okay, so I absolutely love how these nails look. Like, look at them, like the fingerprints, the, the, the pumpkin with little dots. Oh my gosh, I think it looks so freaking pretty. I'm obsessed with this, this design. And honestly, it didn't take as long as I expected. I think it took about three hours maybe, um, which I'm happy about because i didn't want to do this for a while but this was actually a lot of fun to do so i'm going to stick these on off camera and here are the finished nails so this is how the nails turned out oh my gosh i absolutely love them i'm obsessed with them i think that they are so so pretty and i love that i got to fit so many different halloween designs in this one nail set because i could not get them done throughout the um month so i love 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 this nail set i think it is so freaking pretty make sure to comment down below which design is your favorite i honestly have no idea which one's mine i love 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 the fingerprints on like the blood dripping nail i love the fingerprints on that nail um but i really really like really like the pumpkin nail i think it looks so good like the thumb um i just really love how all these nails turned out i'm really really satisfied and obsessed with this nail set so i hope you guys are too um if you guys enjoyed this video tell a friend subscribe if you're not already um comment i love reading your guys's comments um so yeah have a amazing halloween make sure to be safe and yeah bye